Reading this book recently, as well as starting with another book recently, opened my eyes to something that I had never before seriously considered. So in this chapter regarding the Father, this is going into details of Yeshua claiming to be the Son of the Most High, Yahweh. Now in the story in Luke chapter 2 verse 49, Yeshua is quoted as saying, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And in saying this, essentially, at that point, boy Jesus was disowning his father, saying that he was not going to the house of his father and of Mary, uh, but was going to the house of his father, Yahweh. And repeatedly throughout the life of Jesus, he made allusion to the fact of Yahweh himself being the father of Yeshua. And most Christians generally say that, yes, Jesus was from a virgin birth. There was no human male that was responsible for the conception, but this was a divine conception. And that was in, my, in the back of my mind. Recently, I started reading this book recommended by Brother Jerry. Thank you for the recommendation, brother. This is the Apostle Paul, Saul of Tarsus, The Bitter Root. So I haven't purchased it yet, but I started reading this free introduction, free preview offered by Amazon. And it starts off Romans chapter 1. It's not exactly like my book. It doesn't go over every single thing that Paul says, but I am going to take a look at what it says, at least for the verses that it does cover uh, in comparison to what I wrote. And part of this starts off in verse 3. So concerning his son who came into being out of the seed of David, according to the flesh. So according to Paul, Jesus was descended from David. Unfortunately, there is conflicting evidence for this claim. We're going to look at that. The plain reading of Luke and Matthew give different lists or ancestors of Jesus, both supposedly coming from Joseph. And then the author goes on to show some of those differences. The, one of the key differences is the... The size of those genealogies. So, if we go to Wikipedia, they have a nice presentation for it. According to Matthew, Jesus descended from Joseph, and it traces all the way back to Adam. Now, you'll notice here there's about 40 generations listed there. Now, in Luke's genealogy, you'll notice there is 77 names listed there. Now, from Abraham going back, you've got another 20 or so names going back to God. Uh, it's very interesting to look at the differences between those genealogies. But what jumped out as me uh, as even more interesting is that when you consider if the claim is true that he was of a virgin birth, if the claim is true that Yahweh is his father, are any of these genealogies accurate? Are any of these genealogies meaningful? If the genealogy uh, is meaningful, it only is to the extent that Joseph is the biological father. Otherwise, I don't see any reason for why the genealogies would be there. Do you?